Hello and welcome back to another yoga video. My name is Nicole and in this one we're gonna move nice and flowy. So let's get started and hop on our mats. And we begin on all fours. So bringing the knees underneath the hips, hands are underneath the shoulders in our tabletop. From here, starting with some cat cows, inhale, drop your belly, lift the gaze up, tilting the sit bones. Exhale, rounding the spine, pressing into the mat. Inhale to drop the belly, lift the gaze up. Exhale to round, chin to the chest. And last time, inhaling, finding our cow tilt, staying there and walking the hands towards the front of the mat, bringing the chest down and the chin or the forehead for puppy's pose, heart melting pose. The hips are above the knees or slightly further forward. And we stay here, breathing deeply into the upper arms, the neck, the upper spine, taking one more full inhale. And with the exhale, gently pressing into the palms, coming back to our tabletop, tuck the toes under and start to lift the hips all the way up towards the ceiling for downward facing dog, walking the hands a little bit further forward and bending into the knees, pedaling out the feet, moving the hips from side to side. And then when you're ready, finding stillness in your down dog, making sure that the feet are hip distance apart in the mat, the spine is long and straight. And then bring your gaze between the hands and start to walk the feet all the way to the front of the mat, finding a forward fold here. So hanging heavy over the legs, bending into the knees, you can grab opposite elbow and start to gently rock from side to side. Letting go of the elbows, bringing the left palm into the mat, reaching the right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower the right palm down, inhale, lifting the left arm up, open your chest and exhale, bringing the hand back down, starting to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, lifting your spine all the way up, rolling the shoulders up and back when you arrive at the top, bring the feet to touch, inhale, reach your arms up high, Exhale, draw the right arm back, left arm in front, side twist, keeping the hips square. And inhale back through center, exhale, twisting to the left, keeping the hips parallel. And inhale, reaching up through center. And with the exhale, folding forward, head hangs heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, long neck. You can bring your hands either onto the shins or the thighs. Exhale, folding forward, two more like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Last one, inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale to fold forward, stepping the left leg all the way back. The left palm stays underneath the left shoulder. Inhale, reaching the right arm up for an easy twist, opening the chest. And with the next exhale, bring the right hand to the left and start to walk to an extended forward fold. So folding over the legs here, all 10 toes are pointing to the long side of the mat. You can bend one knee and the other. Inhale, find halfway lift. And exhale, walking the hands all the way over to the left. So to the back of the mat, framing the left foot, bringing the right knee down into the mat and reaching the arms up. Inhale, Anjaniyasana. Exhale, half split, straighten the left leg long. Taking a full breath in here, find length through your spine. And exhale, re-bending into the left knee, reaching the arms up high. And then bringing the palms back down into the mat, lift the right knee off the mat and step the right foot to the front, meeting the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, rising all the way up, high mountain. Exhale, twisting over to the right, right arm back. Inhale through center, exhale, twisting to the left, left arm back. Inhale, reaching up high and exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale plant the palms and step the right leg all the way back reaching the left arm up to the ceiling easy twist open the chest inhale here and exhale bringing the left hand to your right and again walking the hands through center to an extended forward fold and this time reaching for opposite hands behind the spine so bringing the palms to touch interlacing the fingers maybe moving the arms from side to side gently releasing inhale halfway lift hands underneath the shoulders exhale walking the hands over to the right left knee comes down into the mat and we reach the arms up Anjaniyasana inhaling in exhale half split straighten the right leg flexing into the right foot staying for one more inhale here and with the exhale rebending into the right knee lifting the left knee off the mat and stepping the left foot to the front inhale halfway lift exhale folding forward inhale high mountain palms to touch exhale twisting to the right right arm reaches back inhale lifting up high exhale twisting to the left left arm goes back inhale reaching up through center exhale bring the hands behind the spine palms to touch take an inhale to open the chest and with the exhale folding forward bringing the forehead towards the shins melting the stomach onto the thighs so we're keeping a deep bend in the knees here so that we can find that stomach to thigh connection keep drawing the arms up and over the head and then release the grip of your hands bend into your knees send the hips low reaching the arms up high for chair pose the weight is in the heels and with the next inhale we bring the hands in front of the chest exhale twisting over to the right left arm comes onto the outside of the right thigh gazing over the right shoulder inhale back to center reach the arms up exhale hands to heart twisting over to the left right upper arm onto the outside of the left thigh gazing up and with the next inhale back through center reach your arms up high and start to lift the heels off the mat coming onto the toes sitting a bit deeper into the chair staying for one more inhale here and exhale falling over the legs heels come down inhale halfway lift exhale bring the palms down and step the right foot back and then the left coming to our high plank hands underneath the shoulders and then bringing the elbows directly to where the hands were so lowering down onto the elbows to our forearm plank and then lowering the hips down untucking the toes and finding our sphinx pose with the elbows underneath the shoulders and then bend into the right knee and grab the right foot with your right hand bringing the left arm a bit more diagonal into the mat from here we start to draw the right heel in towards the right butt cheek inhale kick into your hand with the foot lifting it up exhale to draw the heel in inhale to kick and exhale draw the heel in and then start to lower back onto the chest and grab the right foot with both hands interlacing the hands around the right foot the forehead comes down and with the next inhale start to kick the foot into your hands to lift the chest off the mat drawing the knee up keep kicking into the hands with the right foot lifting one more inhale and exhale gently lowering down releasing the hands from the foot bring the palms underneath the shoulders and start to lift yourself back up through tabletop to downward facing dog hips up high and then bring your gaze between the hands and either step or hop to the front of the mat inhale find your halfway lift and exhale fold forward inhale coming back to our chair pose sending the hips low arms reach up high and bringing the hands in front of the heart twisting over to the right make sure here that the knees are in one line so keep drawing the right knee forward in one line with the left with the next inhale come back to center reach the arms up 
and exhale, twisting over to the left, keeping the knees in line. Inhale here, exhale through center, and from here, start to lift the heels off the mat. So chair pose with lifted heels, sinking a little bit lower, inhale in, and exhale, start to fold over the legs, bringing the heels back down. Inhale, halfway lift, finding length. Exhale, plant the palms, step the left foot back and then the right, high plank. Lowering onto the forearms for forearm plank. Take another inhale in here and with the exhale, start to lower the hips all the way down into the mat, coming back to our Sphinx pose and setting up for the other side. So bending into the left knee and reaching the left hand back to get hold of the foot. You can bring the right arm a bit more diagonal into the mat and then start to draw the left heel down. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, draw the heel down. Inhale, kick into your hand and exhale, heel down, staying here and keep holding on to the left foot with the left hand, lowering the chest down, reaching the right hand back as well and then wrap your fingers around the back of the left foot and with the next inhale, start to kick the foot into your hand to lift the chest off the mat, finding some openness through the chest, staying strong in the leg. One more kick, inhaling in and exhale, letting go of the foot, bringing the palms back underneath the shoulders and sending the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Hips up high, last down dog, taking another inhale in. And with the exhale, start to bring the knees into the mat. Send the hips onto your heels and find your child's pose. You can shimmy the hips a little bit from side to side, bringing the hands back to the feet. Taking one more moment here to ground down. And then start to lift yourself back up onto the shins. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your feedback. So just leave me a comment, like the video if you liked it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.